John Kirby, spokesperson for the Department of Defense, confirming the Pentagon is closer to making a decision on whether Joint Base San Antonio Lackland will house unaccompanied migrant children. The Department of Health and Human Services put in that request yesterday. Right now, unknown how many children could come, but HHS would be in charge, while the Department of Defense might assist. Fort Bliss in El Paso also asked to house migrant children. Our community is put in danger every day because uh, there's high-speed pursuits almost on a daily basis coming through town. And as the U.S. faces the biggest migrant surge in 20 years, communities near the border are feeling the impact. Many migrants trying to escape violence or terrible conditions in their own countries. But in Uvalde, less than two hours from San Antonio, law enforcement there is reporting an increase of human smuggling cases. The police department, the sheriff's office, they're worried that an increase in high-speed chases is putting the community in danger. They tell our Tiffany Huerta's resources are stretched thin. From... Uh January 1st to now, I think we've seen about 35 cases. We've dealt with 35 smuggling cases. Law enforcement in Uvalde say they're dealing with an increase of human smuggling cases. Concern and frustration is growing. You conduct a traffic stop or you have a chase, you're not dealing with one or two immigrants. You're dealing with eight. 20, 22 immigrants. The Uvalde Police Department and the Uvalde County Sheriff's Office is working closely with Border Patrol. Just last week, uh, you know, we were called out to one of our farm to market roads on 481 where it's, it's obviously a hot spot for, for human smuggling. Mm -hmm. And uh, so as I was coming back into town, uh, I noticed a vehicle that was speeding. Once I conducted my investigation, I confirmed there were Hondurans. Uh, they were here illegally and the driver uh, knew exactly what he was doing. All resources are being used to handle these cases. What does that leave the city with? It's not leaving them with anything or the county. So I have 14 deputies and Uvalde County measures 40 miles by 40 miles. So you're really stretching my officers thin when we have to get involved in these chases. How are your deputies feeling? They're frustrated. Remember again, this is just no. immigration problems. We still have to deal our burglaries, family violences, DWIs. I feel disappointed and upset at the same time that there's some people in Washington, D.C. that claim that there's no crisis here at the southern border when there is. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. And tomorrow our coverage continues. We speak with a ranch manager who says migrants are causing property damage. How the mayor of Uvalde is responding to his claim tomorrow at 6.